Hey guys, CGMB back again with one of those random unboxings that we do once in a while, but this one is super cool, super special, and I'm very excited to be opening this one. So the team over at Studio Cut to Bits is working on an upcoming Metroidvania called Venture to the Vile. In collaboration with Player 2 PR, they sent me this really cool care package for the game. So if you're unfamiliar with Venture the Vile, it's this upcoming Metroidvania that takes place in a small town called Rainybrook. It's taken over by this thing called the Vile, and it's this nasty sludge thing. There's a bunch of different monsters that you're fighting. But what's really cool is each time you defeat a boss, you kind of absorb their powers, and now you can use them. So you're this really interesting mutant type character. Like the first one you get is this cool little like needle thing that takes over your whole arm. You eventually jump higher, and I won't get too much into it, but I will say that I have been playing the game a little bit leading up to the release. I'm not quite done as of recording this video, but I'm really digging the game so far. So what's really cool about this press packet is that some of the items inside are completely random. So they have a bunch of different artists working on different covers, different postcards, and all the streamers getting a pack like this are getting different versions. I got to take a sneak peek look at the video and in my head I've already picked which ones I hope that I get, but regardless, they all look sick and I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get the ones I want. But yeah, once again, thank you to Player2 and Studio Cut the Bits for sending me a package like this. I appreciate it, and let's open it. Do I need my box cutter? I think I don't. Yeah, I don't need that. So I won't spoil it quite yet. Maybe I do need the box cutter. <laughs> this is tape. They have special Venture of the Vile tape on here. I don't know if I can cut through it. <laughs> so I just want to be careful. I know there's some paper items in here, and I just don't want to cut them. I missed the C. <laughs> I do want to point out before we get into it, like this is always super exciting for me. I've only gotten maybe one or two of these like press packets before, um, but they're so exciting. The fact that someone's just like, hey, that Danny guy, get him on the list, get him one, because I think he'll appreciate it. And I do a lot. Also, kids, remember, don't cut towards yourself. I'm being dumb. <sighs> okay, so here's just a few of the items. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, mm, I don't even know where I want to start. Let's start with the things that aren't randomized and then we'll, we'll build up to the excitement. Um, so first off, there's like a patch in here. This is, I gotta make sure I'm holding to the camera right. This is like the main character, the protagonist. Um, so you, everybody in Rainy Brook wears these like different animal masks. You wear this one that's like a deer. Uh, but at the beginning of the story, like your one horn's broken off. So it like, you look really like, menacing and cool. Um, I don't know where I'd put this. Is it, I'm not a patch person. I've never put a patch on anything in my life. I assume, do you iron these on? Maybe I can iron onto like a backpack or something. But that's really cool. Um, put this box to the side. All right, yeah, so back to some of the more, like, regular things are going to be in here. There's a bookmark. I don't really, uh, you know, read. I wouldn't say I'm a cultured individual, but, yeah, there's this cool little bookmark. Sorry, main camera's going to have a problem seeing it because of the freaking light. Oh, no, I can use this for my freaking notebook. Here. I'm always really bad because I just leave my, uh, <laughs> my pen in it, and it has those little strings anyway, but sick. You like my book? I have stickers on it. I got Villager on the back. That's not what this is about. <laughs> oh, but I can segue with it because it also comes with some stickers. So you can see it comes with some of the different characters. Uh, I think it's Dr. Crow is one of them. Uh, there's also, I don't know this guy's name. I think I've met him though. Um, you have the protagonist and his like childhood best friend. I think Ella, Ellie, Ella, L. It's ELL something, <laughs> but she's the one that goes missing at the beginning of the game. So the whole story is you going out searching for her and trying to find where she went. There's also this cool muscle dude. Um, his challenge is really hard right now, but I'll probably put muscle guy in my notebook here because I think he looks cool. <laughs> now I think, oh, hold on. Not yet, not yet, not yet. And there's also a pin, which you know what? Honestly, I haven't put a pin in the hat in a while. Here, check us out overhead camera. You see that? You see the back? Where? The camera's upside down. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Whichever way's right. <laughs> Uh, I haven't put a pin in the beanie in a minute. Now, the thing is, I'm recording this before the game comes out and before embargo. So, I actually don't know if I can wear the pin yet. <laughs> because I think I'd have it on, on stream before the game actually comes out. So, someone's like, what's the pin, Danny? I'm like, none of your business. Uh, figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys can see it. My camera's behind me. Either way, I'm sure it looks great. Okay, so now... Here's where all the random items come into play. So there's three different items in here that can be randomized. There's what's in this box, which I think I want to open last. Um, but there is a postcard and there's also a comic book. Each one has three or four different variations from different artists. But first off, okay, I think this, ooh, is this the postcard? This thing is, or is this the comic? Which one is this? I can't, ooh, hold on. Hold on, I'm a little, I'm a little confrazzled. Or oh, hold on. 
let me let me open things and then maybe we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> okay, pop it open. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna look at this together. Cut to bits. Oh, did I get all of them? <gasps> oh no way. Okay, so I thought I was only getting one of these. The fact that I got all four is super sick. <laughs> Let's go. So to start, uh, there's all these different uh illustrations of the main character so there's this really dark edgy one um i believe this one was made by the director of the game or or the uh, art director uh, but it's like the cast of the game so that one's really cool this one oh god i'm between these two these two personally are my favorites um this one uh of the main character with the cool like white background and, and different symbol i don't know if it like references something or it's like oh dude i, I immediately think clockwork orange but i think it's just because there's a giant orange in the background um, but this one, honestly, I just love how cozy this one is. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to figure out the best way to show this on camera, but it, it's so gorgeous, bro. He's like standing on a little rock covered in vial. <laughs> I love this one so much. Put that to the side. And then next should be the comic book. Oh, dude. This is a clean ass cover. This is a clean ass cover. So this is one of the other covers you could get uh i think there were four different ones um there was one let me hold on give me a second i gotta look at my shenanigans so there were four different covers you could get um i believe this was the first variant they had the one looks basically just like the cover art of the game um this one has this really cool like psychedelic uh uh i, I don't know what even what to call it uh, <laughs> this psychedelic vibe to it you have like the first like major boss in the background um damn this is, I just, I don't even want to like open it. Like I want to open it to read it, but I don't, I don't want to open it. <laughs> I want to leave it in the packaging. There are two other ones. There's one that's a little more of like a noir kind of type deal. That one's really cool. It's of the main character and, and the best friend kind of like sneaking through like a little dungeon hallway type deal. And the fourth one is the one I was really hoping I would get. Again, happy with this one. This one was my second pick, um, but it is the main character. And there's like a silhouette of like Dr. Crow in the background. It's got this really cool, like red background. All the vial in the front is in like white silhouettes. It's, oh, it looked gorgeous, but I am very happy with this one too. Um, I know I said I'll do the other thing last. So let's jump back to the other one that is, oh, that's right, there's two. So, oh, this is cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gushing a little bit. Um, so there's a couple different posters. So I got the poster that matches the, the comic book cover. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I have to hang this poster up somewhere. I've, I only have this corner for behind the stream setup, and I have this little window, but I want to move the metal poster down. So I don't know where it's going to go yet, but, um, the one side is like, again, the whole cast. Sorry, you get a weird shadow on there. And then the other side is the full upright poster. That's really cool. And then there is like a mini poster that almost looks like it's like a sleeve cover art for like a game. It's about that scale, but it's signed by the team. Here, I could use the, let me do the overhead camera for that one. But yeah, that one's signed by the team. So that one's really cool. Yeah, this is sick. These, these press kits are so fun. They're so exciting. I'm like a part of the team now. I'm not really. Okay, but now the last thing in the box, I mean, thank you. The last thing in the box is like a little business card holder. Now. This comes in three randomized styles. There's, I think it's solid black, solid gold, and then like a black and gold. They all look sick. I'm really hoping I got the black and gold because that looks fire. But let's find out. Hold on. We're going to open this together. Ready? A little closer in your face. Ready, Cam? Uh, okay. We got solid black. We got solid black. We could take it. We accept it. Ooh. Wait, this is really nice. This isn't what I expected. I was like, okay, so hold on. Where's it? Okay. So I went to PAX this year and I got a business card holder with my business cards. This is all metal. It's fine. It's not great, but like if you pack in enough cards, like it, you can see it like cuts up. What can you see here? You can see up there. It like cuts up the, the material on the card. So I haven't loved this one. I have like a generic one in the front. I was expecting this to be very similar to this, but this is nice, dude. This is really nice. Again, I was praying I got the gold, but I'll take the all black. It still looks nice, but it's got this leather texture on the front and the back. And then there's like this plastic uh, medallion. So if you take a look at that, there we go. Check that. Oh, baby. That's really cool. <laughs> and then inside, um, you are cordially invited 
to Rainy Brook. I'm sure this camera is going to get flipped upside down multiple times because I, I keep going the wrong way. Now, hold on. Let me uh, let me put some business cards in this bad boy. Let me, uh, I'm going to start carrying this around. <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you like my business? Excuse me, sir. Would you like to? Excuse me, sir. Would you like to subscribe? Isn't that pretty good? That was, that was, ooh, man. That was really cringy. Nah, this thing is so much nicer than I thought it would be. This is a sick PR kit. But yeah, I think that is everything that came in this press kit. And uh, I love it. Well, guys, there is everything that I got in this Venture to the Vile press kit. Once again, huge shout out to Studio Cut to Bits as well as Player 2 PR for sending me this whole kit. I am now even more excited to go back and play some more Venture to the Vile. If you guys are interested in checking out Venture to the Vile for yourself, it releases on Steam starting on May 22nd. And don't worry, it's not that scary. But if you want to be sure, you can check out the demo on Steam as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and be sure to subscribe for more indie gaming content.